Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Professor Hank here, and today we're going to talk about the character data type and the difference between characters and strings in C++. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you need to know is that a character variable is going to be a variable of type char, C-H-A-R, and this variable, this data type, is typically going to be one byte long, and it's designed to store a single character. So we can have an assignment statement that looks something like this, ID equals, uh, say, uppercase B. And when we do that, we're assigning the character literal B to the character variable ID. And we can create multiple character variables just like we can anything else. So maybe I have something here like, you know, grade, and we'll assign to grade say C for a C grade. And then maybe we have another character called punk for punctuation. And we'll assign to that a period. And so you've got the ability to print out the contents of these variables just like any others. So you can do something like this with C out. You could say C out ID equals, and then display the contents of the ID variable. And then we could do something like grade equals and send the grade variable to C out, and then maybe do punk, right? Punk equals, and then display the contents of the punk variable with the cursor of the next line. And, you know, it's gonna work just like other variables. It's just that the character data type is designed to hold a single character. Now notice that the character literal B up here, it's a character literal, it is not a string. So when you have something in single quotes, such as this uppercase B, that is a character literal. A character literal is assigned to a character variable. A character variable can hold one character. It double quotes is a string. Single quotes is a character. Double quotes is a string. These are not the same thing. In other programming languages, such as Python, they're interchangeable. You can use whichever you want, but in C++, you can't. And to understand why that is, you have to understand how the literals, the, the character literal, the string literal is actually stored in memory. So what you actually have in memory for character variables are a small integer or is a small integer that represents that character. So the uppercase B is represented by the ASCII code, and that's the name for these numbers, 66, all right? So I've put up a copy of the ASCII table on the screen. You can take a look at that really quick. And that ASCII table represents 127 different characters. Some of them printable, some of them are not. Includes digits and punctuation. Now, the ASCII codes on that table go from zero to 127. Why is it zero to 127? Well, because what's actually being stored in the character variable is a small integer from zero through 127. And so what that means is that not only is the character data type for storing characters, but it's also behind the scenes silently without you noticing, it's also kind of living this double life in that it also is a form of an integer variable because it's actually storing integers. Okay, so that's what the B looks like in memory. So you've got B in memory that's being represented by 66, all right? So that's the single character. Now, the string B, which is B inside of double quotes, well, that's different, all right? So what you have is you still got the 66 in memory, but you have something else. You have something else that's added to the end of strings, and that's known as the null terminator, which is the number zero. So what you actually have in memory for the string B is two bytes being used one for the ASCII code, one for the null terminator, which is zero. So another way of looking at it is, let's say that I had in memory a string um, dog. If I had that, I don't have just three characters in memory. What I have is I've got the lowercase d, I've got the lowercase o, I've got the lowercase g, and then I've got the null terminator that's added on to the end. And that's how C++ knows how long the string actually is. So what's the ASCII code for lowercase d? The ASCII code for lowercase d is 100. What's the ASCII code for lowercase o? 111. What's the ASCII code for lowercase g? 103. And then what's the ASCII code for the null terminator? Zero. Now null terminator can also be represented using an escape sequence backslash zero. So you actually end up storing with this string dog four characters and therefore for ASCII codes. So a string and a character are different things, not just because, you know, one's using single quotes and another's using double quotes, but because they're represented in memory. 
differently. And this null terminator that you see being added on to the end of the string, that's done automatically. That's in the background. C++ handles that for you. You're not actually ever going to type that out. It's just if you have dog, then that in memory, the compiler is going to look at that and go, oh, okay, well, we're going to go ahead and set aside four bytes for that. And one for each ASCII code of D0G. And then I'm going to tack on the null terminator at the very end of that automatically. So that way I know how long it is. Okay. And so because of that, you can't assign strings to character variables. So take a look at if I try to do something like this, what if I tried to say grade equals instead of double quotes B, right? See how I got the red squiggle there. If I tried to compile this, I would get an error saying that, you know, this isn't allowed. Okay. So this is a syntax error. You can't do this will not work, but you can certainly do this. You can say grade equals single quotes a this will work so to review characters are represented by ascii codes characters will normally occupy a single byte of memory strings are sequences of characters in memory that are consecutive the right next to each other and they're always stored with a null terminator at the end and that's how c knows that that's the end of the string character literals get single quotes string literals get double quotes but escape sequences can be included with the characters because they usually represent a character that means something. So for example, backslash n, that's the escape sequence for the new line character that represents the new line character. So I could actually do something like this, punk equals single quotes. And that's because of what's actually being stored in punk. What's actually being stored in punk is the ASCII code for the new line character and that ascii code is actually 10 so the backslash n represents the uh, 10. okay so now you know the basics of the character data type and the basic differences between characters and strings thanks for watching